So I have seen a lot of people wanting to play workshop maps with friends on Rocket League under the Epic Games version. This is possible and in this video I will show you how to do this and how to also download workshop maps and place these correctly. But firstly, if you're watching this video and haven't subscribed, then thank you for tuning in but that one button keeps me making these videos and it's free so please help me reach that 1000 subscriber goal. Anyways, I'll be going through step by step in how to play online on workshop maps with your friends. Also, how to play on your own. Step 1. Download these programs. So, what you'll need to do is download the following programs in order to make this method work. I'll pop the links in the description, but the programs include Backers Mod, Himachi, and Lefamir's Custom Map Loader. Once you've downloaded Backers Mod, you will also need to download a plugin called Rocket Plugin, but I'll explain about this later. Step 2. Custom Map Loader. Now, look, if once you've downloaded the custom map loader, and as this was created by Lefmir, once installed, it asks you to specify a custom maps folder. This is where you'll put any custom maps that you wish to play. So, for example, I've created the folder on my desktop called Maps. You can then create a folder anywhere as long as you have the maps inside this folder. You'll then be asked to specify your Rocket League installation folder. This is usually by default in your C drive under the program files, then the Epic Games folder. Once you've set up the custom map loader, this is where you can start to download your own maps. You can either use Lefamir's website for its own created maps, or you can use any maps that have been put on Steam. For the Steam maps, you'll need to use steamworkshopdownloader.io, which is also linked in the description. This will let you download Steam map files, which you can then put in your custom map directory. Once you've downloaded which maps you want, Pop these in the maps folder you created earlier and click import map on the custom map loader program. Now if this comes up with an error this is where you need to go into that custom map folder you created earlier and you will now see a zip file of your maps, also an unzipped folder of the certain map you want to import. Now in the unzipped folder there will be no files which is why the program erred. To fix this you will just need to copy all the files in the zip file and paste these in the unzipped folder. You can then go back to the custom map loader and click load on the map and this should load successfully. So now that you've downloaded your maps what you'll need to do in order to play online with friends is to navigate to the Rocket League installation folder. Go into TA game and then Coot PC console. In here I created a folder called mods and all I did was copy the custom map file which will be a UDK file and paste this in the mods folder. Now as Epic Games use a different file extension, you will need to rename the extension to UPK in order to make this work. I will show you why later on. Step 3. Hamachi. So Hamachi will let you create a local network in which your friends can join in order to play these maps. You will need to download Hamachi and create an account in order to create a network. So the next steps are pretty simple. Once you make an account and then go to create a network, you will then be asked to specify a network ID. This can be anything and then just set a password. If the password doesn't work, you can specify that people can just connect without one. Once you've set up this network, your friends can then click join the network and then find you using the details you set up your network with. Once your friends are connected, they will appear under the network. One step to also do when installing Hamachi, which caught me out, is to go to your firewall settings and untick Hamachi in order to allow incoming connections. To do this, you'll need to go to Windows Firewall with Advanced Security Settings. From here, you will need to click Properties and under the first three tabs, you will need to click Customize here and then untick Himachi and Apply. Now this has been done, your friend will need your IPv4 address which can be found on Himachi. On top of your network, you can right click and copy the address so you can pass this over to your friend. Step 4. Backers Mod. So now everything has been set up, the last thing you'll need to do is download Backers Mod. Once this has been installed, you will also need to download the Rocket plugin which is going to be used to pass in your IPv4 address that you had earlier. Once you start up Rocket League, then you will need to press F2, go over to your plugins and then click Rocket plugin. This will then specify on hosting a local game and you will need to pass in your IPv4 address in here. This is only if you're hosting the game. Now open the GUI and then you can start selecting the maps you wish to play. If you enable custom maps, you can see a list of the maps that you downloaded earlier. These are being picked up under that mods folder I mentioned earlier, which you put in your Rocket League installation files. Now, you, once you've selected the map that you wish to host and changed any settings, etc., then all you need to do is click host. 
Your friend can now join you by pasting in the IP address on the right side of the screen and keeping the port as the same as yours. They don't need to click the button to enable custom maps and all they'll need to do is cl then click join. Now some maps are temperamental. For example, I tried out the rings map from Lefania with one of my friends and every time the map reset it will reset for both people, but for other maps such as Among Us, this works perfectly. And that is it everyone, if this method has helped you then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.